Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you Hey guys, welcome back to my Muscle Anatomy series. My name is Brad Park and today we're talking all about the levator scapulae. Now, if this video is helpful at all to you, even if you learn 1% more information than what you had, please punch that like and subscribe button. Uh, please sound off in the comment section below on things you'd like to learn more about, whether that's muscle, bones, uh, skeletons, physics, anatomy, what have you. Tell me what you want to learn more about and I'd be happy to make another video for you. All right, right and onwards, right? The first thing that we need to understand about the levator scapulae is where it sits because its location is going to tell us everything we need to know about what it is that the muscle does, right? So this guy's going to originate right at cervical spine number one or what we call the atlas. From there, we're gonna travel down to cervical spine number two, which we call the axis, and then cervical spine three and four, which are the third and fourth vertebrae of that cervical collection. From there, this guy's gonna fan out and collect ultimately at the medial superior aspect of the scapula. Because of this muscle's ability to create retraction, it will also be a part of the three muscles necessary to create terminal humerus extension alongside tricep and rhomboid. And finally, if the shoulder or the scapula is held still, this muscle can play a huge role in same side head rotation, which is really helpful if you need to look back in your life and wonder when it all went wrong. Anyway guys, thanks again for joining me on another Muscle Anatomy video. Um, next week we'll be looking at Pec Minor, which is one of the major depressors of the shoulder. Uh, you know, thanks again for watching and now we're one step closer to fixing fitness.